Hello, my magicians, and welcome out to Monday. Thanks for logging in. Hope you had a good weekend. Well, cloudy, irritable chance of a lot of pissiness today for the Pisces. There's a lot going on. It really starts with the sun. We're at 29 degrees, Leo. And I always say 29 is the most difficult degree. It is the testing degree. We get tested on what we've learned. The universe kind of tempts us back. You've heard that phrase, the devil tempts you back. It's at 29 degrees. Now what you've been working on is remaining centered, being in your moment, living in your workspace, right? This is your day in and day out routine, your lifestyle, and also your health. So today you might get tested. Today may be a hard day to pass up the cupcakes. Today may be a hard day to get through the job. Today may be a hard day to be repetitive. And you may start to believe, oh my gosh, my life will never change. I'll never get what I want. That's the whiny part. That's the test. Don't go there. What you want to do, like doing that final curl in the gym, you just want to push. Use that emotional energy to push into what you want. Don't slip into what you don't have. Now, zip into the moon, also adding to your testiness. The moon is in Aquarius, putting emotional focus on the weeds in your soul garden, your subconscious triggers. So Pisces are kind of doubly triggered today. You're not just triggered by the moment, you're triggered by the past. So some of the past may come up. You might have had some crazy dreams in the last 24 hours. You might be easily triggered by past patterns, like you hate when people smack their gum, okay? So you'll be surrounded today with people who smack their gum. That's karma. Those are weeds in our soul garden, and today you're easily triggered. The best thing to do, though, frankly, is to exercise or meditate or both. I myself meditate literally on the treadmill, so I think that'll get you through the day, Pisces. Now, zipping over to Monday, Julie Zipper's meditation vibration going live today. She's getting a tiny little bit of a head start on the Virgo vibration, which begins, by the way, tomorrow. Julie's going to give you a guided meditation. She really did some powerful work this month, and she's using the Virgo energy and the groundedness of it to bring people into their higher self. Considering I recommended meditating today, you might want to go ahead and check out Julie. She's live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, Pisces, that wraps up Monday. Tomorrow, we're zero degrees Virgo. All that and more in 24. Live, love, V. Soul Garden. Dot, T.